Hi, this is Dave Wilbur uh, from USF, and I'm going to show you the second part of kind of coming up with the distance between two um, GPS coordinate points. So, so far I've, I've come up with two kind of temporary values, one for X and one for Y, and those formulas I got from this web page that kind of shows you how to approximate the distance in miles between two um, GPS points. Um, so I got my X, my Y is not quite done. I need to do a 69.1 times the difference in longitude times cosine of the latitude divided by 57.3. So I need to grab a latitude, um, sorry, a cosine block. I'll go to the math folder, grab cosine. And uh, what I want to do is take the cosine of lat 1 divided by 57.3. So if I grab lat1.text and I'm going to divide that baby by 57.3 and uh, uh, App Inventor does all these conversions for you as far as types and all that kind of stuff so it makes some of this pretty easy. Um, so that's going to be that. So I've got my lat 1 divided by 57.3 and I want to take the cosine of, of that. And I think I want to multiply that whole thing by what I've got so far here. So if I take math, the first thing in that multiply will be what I had so far. And then I want to multiply all that by this cosine I've computed. So that's going to kind of go off the screen. Um, I can scroll over there and, and see it, but anyway, that's my formula. I can also zoom in to make it a little smaller, uh, but that's going to be tough tough to see on the screencast, so I'll just do what we can. So we've got our X and Y chimp values computed, and uh, let's take a look at the formula. Once you get the X and Y, we want to take the square root of X squared plus Y squared. Okay, so let's take a look at our math drawer, and I know we've got a square root function, and we've also got this EXPT, which is kind of a power function. I don't think there is a square function for some reason. But I do want to take X, so for any variables you can get their value from the My Definitions drawer. So I want to take X, and I want to square it. And then I kind of want to do the same thing to Y, so I'll copy this whole thing, paste it, and uh, get rid of the X and replace it with uh, Y. So I think I'm getting kind of close. I've got X squared plus Y squared, and I want to take the square root of all that, so I'm going to grab, first I'm going to plus those guys together, stick them in, and then the result of all that, I'll square root it. So square root of x squared plus y squared after x and y are computed um, in this way. And I've got lat 2 minus lat 1, long 2 minus long 1, and then the cosine of the rest of the formula. So that's going to be my distance. So I want to set distance to that and stick it in there. And finally, I've got a distance label, so I just need to set the distance label dot text to distance. And I think we're doing pretty good. I think that's kind of the formula we need. So just to test this thing, I'm gonna what I'm using here is Position Finder and Google Maps, and you can click on things. So I'm gonna click. This is my school, San Francisco, and get some coordinates there. And then uh, Ireland 32 is a nice bar, right about there. I think it's about a half mile or mile. So let's let's test it with these coordinates. We'll see if my my app works. So I'm going to come back over. Here's my blocks at a drive. This did say connect to phone. I clicked it and I've got the emulator running. So it's showing my app and and in the meantime since you, I didn't want to make you watch me type I also uh, put the coordinates I found on the map um, directly in as uh, into the into the text boxes here. Uh, the user could change test it with different things here. But anyway, I'm going to click Compute, and this is the Android emulator that I'm kind of live testing my program on, and that's looking pretty good. 0.6, uh, that seems about